All right, so I'm sorry. I kind of lost you guys for a minute there, but I accidentally shut off the video. I really hate that because now I either have to make two videos or find a way to put these two together. But either way, here's where we're showing you that the, um, the avocado's breaking down. You can see how creamy it is now, and you can still see there's a couple chunks of cream cheese. No worries. It's starting to heat up more and more. I've got the the temperature on the stove right there to medium high so if you have numbers going around your dial I'm on number six five is medium so I'm bringing this up to temperature so that it starts to simmer a little bit I'm gonna sit you back a few inches it's probably not safe to have this camera stand up on the stove anyway <laughs> anyways um, I just wanted you to see how creamy this is getting and I wanted to try to keep it moving so that the cream cheese block breaks down. It just came out of the refrigerator so it's kind of solid but look at that. That's vegetable broth, um, a half a cup of cream cheese, and the leftover um, juices from the tomato can. And once we get our roasted vegetables in here, um, I'm just going to scrape up the bottom of the, uh, the iron skillet into this. And whatever juices come out of the stuff in there, that's what we're going to play with. So let's move you back a little bit. Bear with me. Okay. Now you can see the whole stove. We got to get some chicken mitts because that iron skillet in there is hot. So chicken and I double up on the mitts because I only got one hand to do this we're gonna open the oven oh my lanta oh that's a heavy pan look at that you guys should smell it in here oh my god so you see how let's get closer Y'all see how, I don't want the phone to fall right into the food, so I'm just going to stop there. You see how the, the garlic's gotten real roasty, I guess you can call it. It's nice and brown, and you've got some brown going on over here. The butternut is just, it's soft. I mean, I, I'm cutting into it just pressing down with this spoon. So, that's perfect. Hopefully the onions are roasted up. Oh, they're nice and the oil and everything, they've got a little translucency to it. So that's that's all right. If you wanted to cook this a little longer to get it more brown on the, this, you can. But since I added the chipotle sauce, I've got enough of the roast going on. So keep your gloves on. Remember that iron skillets and ironware cookware is always going to stay hot when you pull it out of the oven. So we're going to have you look up a little bit. Hopefully we don't knock this phone off of there. And you're going to help me screen this all in. This is so heavy right now. Now look, you see all that juice? You see all that juice right there? That's going to help make this more into a soup. So that's why I didn't want to add too much um, vegetable broth before I put the roasted vegetables in. I'd rather get my solids in first and then make it watery from there. Look at all those peppercorns too. Oh my God, this is no good. No good guys. It's a good thing I got the big pot out. All those tomatoes on top, there's the onions. Look at our onions there. Oh man. So if you notice on this, this video, I am not talking so much about what I'm measuring out so this is one whole onion, but you do what you think. The idea behind a vegetable bisque is you're using what vegetables you want and however much of it you want. Okay, heavy pan, heavy pan. Look at that, perfect. It's filling up to the top of the pot. I'm gonna put this down. Oh, my lanta. 
piece of tomato. Now, there isn't a whole lot of mixing to do here because everything's still pretty chunky, everything's soft. Boy, this is, look at this, it just cuts right in. So, oh, did you see that? Nobody look at that. I always have a piece of damp paper towel ready to wipe this up because if you leave food splatters on the stove, it'll dry up and get crusty and it's impossible to clean up later on. So, while this still is on medium high, I'm going to take my mixer. Now, some, some people, if you don't have a mixer like this, a hand mixer, um, you could try to use one of those um, like cake mixers, but um, this is starting to simmer, so I'm gonna start using this. Your other option is to boil this for about 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> And then I'm before I'm gonna finish talking before I start this, but you can boil this for 10 or 15 minutes, and then throw it in a blender if you don't have one of these. So this is gonna get really loud. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this while it simmers, and I'm gonna put you on pause and come back to you when I have a little more of a bisky look to it. Okay, so I took it off the stove, I took it off the heat because it was starting to simmer so much that these were. Uh, splashing everywhere, but look at this. Now, if you have a blender, this would definitely be easier. You have to have a lot of patience to use the hand mixer, and you have to kind of move it around because all those little peppercorns, and once the chunks get small, you kind of have to catch them. And you'll see them come up to the top, but I think I've got this good and I don't want it too watery. I don't want it too smooth, if you know what I mean. I want it a little bit like have some substance to it. So. I can hear peppercorns down at the bottom moving around and I see some come up to the top. So I'm gonna mix this just a few more minutes to try to make sure I get all the little chunkies. I'll be ready to show you the finished product in a minute. Oh my goodness, you guys. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like up close. You see that consistency? Look at this. The way it goes in there real thick. It's not your average soup, ma. It is like pureed vegetables is what it is. And if, I, if, if anything I've learned about bisque, bisque is basically pureed roasted vegetables. That's all it is. And I'm gonna put that cilantro on top. All my spices should already be in there. Get your Chinese spoon and look at this. Can you see this? It's so hot right now. I'm going to just take a little bit because I don't want to burn my tongue. But I watch this other channel called Pit, um, Barbecue Pit Boys and they do this thing. Oh my God, this thing is getting hot to just hold. The bowl is like burning up. So on um, Barbecue Pit Boys, they do this thing called pit master's privilege and it's where the pit master gets to taste the first bite on camera let's hope I don't burn my tongue mmm okay I'm never crazy about vegetables I was always a meat and potatoes kind of girl I think butternut squash mmm really adds like almost a potatoey feel to it. I'm gonna go sit down and eat this because it's fire. It's fire guys. It's amazing. Okay. I'm gonna let you go. I hope you guys try this. If I had I'm I, I do have some fresh baked bread, but if I had some of that French boule cut the top off core out the inside of the bread and pour all this inside yeah 
Okay, guys. I'm going to go have lunch now because this is too good to be true. I love you. And I hope you guys enjoy this because you could go to the store and buy this out of a can. But you really, really wouldn't, A, you really wouldn't know what's in it. B, it wouldn't really have exactly what you wanted. This has exactly what I want. I'm not crazy about bell peppers, so I didn't have to have any of that in here. I have my garlic in there. I could taste the garlic and onion. And there's still a few chunks. Yeah. Yeah. I know what's in it. I made it myself. And when you make it yourself, you make it your home. <laughs> Take care, guys.